What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back in the Iconic Studios. Back with another review. Back with another banger. Before we get started with this review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews the on Feeks, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Again, thank y'all for watching and supporting. And today, we will be reviewing the Air Jordan 4 Union in the Desert Moss colorway. First thing first, man, let's get into the box. I know we want to see the shoe, but let's get into the box, get it out of the way. Uh, boom, right here, you already see what's going on. Standard Union box right here. You got Jordan shooting this shot, and then you got Union right across the box right there. Go ahead and flip up the lid. On uh, Underneath the lid, there is no like stickers or stamps. I did get this shoe, well my brother Lucky, shout out to Lucky, he did get this shoe directly from Union, he is lucky as hell and he did get on this pair, but on the actual insides of the lid there is no like slot numbers or any quality control stickers. Um, beneath the lid, you do have your paper, go ahead and pull that out so y'all can see that. And I did find out that this paper that's inside the shoe is like an aerial shot of Jordan signing autographs so i thought that was a very dope touch they did the same thing on the um the other two pairs that they dropped uh like last year but you know they, they kind of kept the same aesthetic again underneath that paper it is some standard wax paper right there and once you empty out the whole box pretty much it's just that yellow guts of the box right there you do have that one sticker right there that green and white sticker that they usually uh put on a lot of shoes that's usually like an NRG. Um, I don't know, sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't, but that's the box. I know y'all not here for the box. Let's get into the shoe. And boom, we have it here again. The Air Jordan 4 Union in the Desert Moss colorway. And first impressions, y'all. First impressions, it's pretty trash, y'all. It's pretty trash. I don't want nobody to try to convince me because it ain't going in my collection. Everybody has their own taste, but um, I don't know what they were trying to achieve. I don't know what color palettes they were trying to go for. I just don't know what what's going on with this. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know at all. But um, let's do a quick review, man. Let me do a quick 360 before we get too deep into the details. Quick 360 of this shoe. Quick 360 of the shoe quick 360 of the shoe right here at the bottom you do have this um tan mostly tan bottom with your mustard yellow hit um you do have nike and i hit a purple right there it's like a lavender hit right there in the middle and then you have this turquoise hit right here uh by the upper of the actual sole of the uh, shoe uh, get to the midsole itself it's still tan uh, they kind of kept that same aesthetic as they did with the nor pair um, and the, I think the up nor and whatever the other colorway is, but they kept that same aesthetic. They didn't give any like base to the actual midsole. Right here on the midsole, you do have a turquoise air unit right here. I like that hit right there. Get to the upper, you do have like this mustard or like more of like a, just like a dirty yellow, bro. Like almost like a gold in some sense. Not even really a, it's kind of a mustard, but like it's more like a gold in my opinion. Um, you got this gold hit, like suede. Um, it's not a new buck. It's definitely like a suede, but it's like a light hair suede. Nothing too much going on that. Um, it's straight. It's nice. It feels good. No lie. I can't lie about that. Um, it got some type of shift to it. Some type of shift to it. Nothing too crazy, but it is like that goldish yellow colorway. Uh, right there on the toe box, you do have that purple hit. Um, I don't know what they call this. I don't know if this is canvas or a Gore-Tex, I'm not sure, but it's definitely not a regular soft leather uh, toe box. Uh, you, on the Aglets area, you do have those turquoise hits, which I thought is pretty dope if you're looking at the shoe itself. I thought that was dope right there. Um, when you get more to the upper of the wing area, it is the clear, uh, just all clear area. They didn't put any accent colors on that. For what reason, I don't know. They should have, in my opinion, they should have matched this with that. That way they could have gave it like that more of that pop too. Um, on the cage area of the sneaker, um, it's purple underneath. And then like right where the netting is, it is like a tan netting. So I like that touch of it. I like the purple hits on this shoe, right? I think that's really what's giving me the feel of it. 
back ankle area, you do have more purple. Guts are, I would say gray. Yeah, guts are gray. There's nothing crazy going on with the guts. Back on the back, you do have the Nike Air tab, which is that turquoise, and then your like purple or lavender purple right there on the back. So again, I don't know what they were trying to achieve with this, bro, but I personally don't think this is a good shoe at all. Um, I do see like they have this little tag right here. I think this is, uh, it says 1991 to 2021. I believe, this might not be right, but I believe that's from the time frame that Union started. And, um, you know, I think that's that's probably it. I do see also like a, a halo over it. So maybe this is a person, individual that passed away or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but I think so. Um, Rhett on the tongue, you know, they went traditional and kept that little folded down tongue and gave you like this turquoise, turquoise, turquoise patch right here uh, that says Eric Jordan. And, um, you know, I, I'm not really a big fan of that. I haven't actually picked mine up and fixed mine, flipped it up right, but not really a big fan of that. But you know, it does, it's a collab shoe, so it kind of works with it. Uh, they do have this right here. It's like a yellowish hang tag, a Jumpman hang tag. It does say Union on it. Um, you can kind of see, you can see it on both sides. I know on the camera it's blown out, but you can see on the Jumpman, the Union, on both sides in my opinion um yep you can see it on both sides so that's that laces are weird too y'all um it looks like a either a gray and turquoise or like a like a crazy green and turquoise i can't really decipher which one like i said man they had a lot going on with this shoe i don't know what they were trying to what the approach was with the shoe at all here is the insert for the shoe like the shoe tree um as far as the actual insole, here's the insole. It is all yellow, mustard yellow, and then you have that purple, um, you have that purple hit right there on the jump man, the sizing tag right below it. I wish this light wasn't so dang blown out, y'all, but it's so blown out. So you got that right there. It does say Union right below as well. Um, here's the back of it for anybody that's trying to do any legit checks, again, Sorry about the light. Light is extremely blown out. Um, and as we get into the actual shoe itself, we look in the inside. This is how it's looking on the inside, y'all. For anybody that's trying to do any legit checks, this is how it is on the inside. Um, as far as tagging and the time frame, these were created between October 28th, 2020 to January 21st, 2021. So that was pretty decent time frame. Um, again, I don't know what made them use this color pen. I, I can't I can't get why they use this color palette at all for this shoe. Um, here is the actual tag. If anybody needs to see it, I'm trying to make sure I do a good job at that, so y'all can see it. If anybody's trying to do any legit checks, boom boom. Hopefully y'all can see it. If y'all need me to, I could probably take a picture of it. Yeah, man, personally, um, if I had to be completely honest, y'all, I am not feeling this shoe. There, it's too much going on with it, to be completely honest. Compared to the off nor pair, hold on. Be completely honest, bro. They got a pass with this one, right? The black, red, and blue work better on this shoe. I used to, I was dogging this shoe, but it, it works way better. I like the golden, so all that stuff works way better on this compared to this. Like, I don't know what they was thinking about, what they had going on. But honestly, Union, just wrap up the folds. Don't make no more fours, bro. Don't make no more fours. You should have made a Jordan 1. That's where you played yourself. You played yourself. You should have did a Jordan uh, Jordan 1, another Jordan 1, or the Jordan 3 that they was talking about. But, you know, everybody hyped everything up, so that's why I think these definitely sold out because of that. I know it's one of the things where it's super, super limited. Now, that other pair, which was like gray, and like turquoise, the other pair I think was like a Union exclusive. I think those is hot. Those is fire as far as like the color palette. I still don't didn't need those either, but they way they like 20 times better than this, 100 times better than this. Again, um, compared if we're comparing them right, if we comparing these, we going with these all day, all day. I don't know what they was thinking with this pair right here. 
this was this was not a bit, good move at all. So if we just looking at like the off north uh, pair, man, or the north pair, I don't know what the name for this one either, but I like this one way better. If we, if we just talking about aesthetic wise, it looked way better color wise, way better. You know, it just hit better. But like I said, I like I like certain stuff about it. Like the turquoise and purple hits are good. I think the golden could have worked good, but on little 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 subtle areas instead of it being this nasty. This shoe look dirty. Like it just looks gross. It look like throw up. It look like what baby kids do. It looks it's, it's bad. It's a bad shoe. But um, it does come with extra laces. Comes with this turquoise uh, laces right here. So that's a plus right there. Um, again, this is the right shoe and. That's pretty much it, man, for this review, y'all. I want to hear from y'all what y'all think about the shoe. Is it hot? Is it not? Is it something that you had to have in your collection? Me personally, bro, I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't uh, spend my money to like pay resale for it, cause it's like I'm good. I didn't even want to pay. To be completely honest, y'all, I didn't want to pay resale for this. I'm glad I got this for retail, because I was talking cash shit about this shoe. But then when I was seeing on feeds and then seeing people with them, you put them gold laces in. These joints go crazy. These go crazy. These go crazy. They did their thing with this. Even the other pair, they went crazy. But this right here, this all off the hype. People just buying it cause they couldn't get the first ones. They need to cut it out, man. I think that's it for this. But I wanna hear from y'all. What y'all think about the shoe? Is it hot, is it not? Did you, uh, were you able to grab it? Did you, you know, I feel like the raffle was kinda weird this time. They shoulda just did how they did these, where they actually just allowed us to go in and purchase and you had to answer a question. That was perfect. I feel like it beat the box. Everything was perfect. People that were able to hit were able to hit. I feel like this was definitely the dopest drop they did for Union besides the Union ones. But as far as like release online, they definitely took the cake with that on this. But this shoe right here, man, I'm good on it, man. So let me hear from y'all. What y'all think about the Air Jordan 4 Union in a desert colorway? Sorry I had to pause, so I didn't even know the name of this joint so trash. Wanna know from y'all what y'all think? Is it a cop? Is it a drop? Do you have it in your collection? Did you pay resale? I don't think it's worth resale. Save your save your save your bread. Save your bread. Save your bread, man. Save your bread. You already know what's going on, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Thank y'all for watching, man. Future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all.